Hi guys, Steph here. Now today we've got for you a very interesting pen. A very interesting, unusual pen. First of all, what I've done, I've put it, you can see here, there's my lovely trusty Parker 51 in the plum, plum colour. Just to give you a comparison with this pen here. So as you can see there, they look quite similar, don't they? In size. Or do they? Well, if I bring this Parker 51 in a bit here, and bring this one in a little bit here, hey, look at that. So, let's take the Parker Plum, pop it to one side, and what we've got for you here is, as I say, a very interesting pen. This is a Wyvern Baby Fountain Pen. To be quite honest with you, I do not know too much about this pen. All I know is that it's a small pen, and it may actually be one of the smallest pens that I've actually, well, I've actually ever had and reviewed. But, as I say, it's a Wyvern Baby. I'm dating the pen. I don't know, as I say, I don't know too much information about it. I would say, I don't know, maybe 1920s, the 1930s. I'm having a guess at that. Um, I know it was before the 1950s because Wyvern, they ceased making fountain pens around about 1955. So, I don't know. As I say, at a guess, 1920s, 1930s. It comes in this lovely black hard rubber. And as you can see there, it's got a lovely sort of a chevron chase pattern to the pen. And as you can see there, it's a lever fountain pen. Now, let's show you the, the barrel imprint, if I can see it over the camera, first of all. Um, right, I think that's it there. Okay, so what it actually says there, nice and simply, it says Wyvern Baby. So it's a Wyvern Baby fountain pen. As I say, very, very small pen. It's so small, the size of it caps from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, it's 93 millimeters capped and around the barrel it's quite a slim eight millimeters in diameter in absolutely gorgeous condition i've fully restored it i've put a new sack in it we've dis disassembled it cleaned everything um and as you can see it's in beautiful condition all the all the chasing is still quite prominent so an absolutely beautiful example one thing on this particular pen you may actually you may notice you may not to the very end of the barrel there you can see it's got a little thread and that as we'll show in a moment is so that you can actually post post the cap now for you people that know me I'm not a believer of actually posting caps on pens because I've actually seen the damage that that can do but obviously the pen is designed with this thread to be able to post the cap so um yeah i haven't got too much of a problem to show you the the, the pen posted in a moment let's unscrew the cap as you notice there's no clip on this cap it's just a clipless cap and again let's give you a couple of little twirls <laughs> I can't believe how small this pen it is. It's, I'm having actually trouble actually holding it. But let's show you this section. You can see the section has got this slightly, it's a slightly concave section. Um, it's quite a long one and it, it is actually quite comfortable, believe it or not, to hold. The nib, as you would expect from a pen of this particular age, I'm not sure if you can see, it's a little bit on the worn side. Um, but the nib is actually a warranted 14 karat gold nib. Let's show you a sideways view like so. Let's take it underneath and again 
underneath we've got this quite a plain feed underneath the nib um, again you see quite a lot of these sort of plain feeds of pens of this particular period but as you can see it's lovely and clean absolutely gorgeous condition as I say a very small pen so yes I know you want to see it writing so let's bring on some ink actually it'll be a little bit of a a job in fact what I need to do first of all let me bring on some tissue to my left um, it'll be a bit of a job to try and actually fill the pen that'll do just for uh, a writing sample I don't know if you could hear that there was lots of bubbling in the ink so that looks to be hunky dory let me wipe my fingers I've got a little bit of ink on my fingers and let's see how the pen writes now actually what I'm going to do as I said I'm not a fan of uh, posting caps but it's got this little thread which allows us to to post the cap on the end of the pen like so incidentally um, with the cap posted on the pen the size of it from the top of the cap to the tip of the nib is now 120 millimeters capped or posted should I say so it's still sort of quite a smallish um, quite a smallish pen although saying that um, it makes it a little bit more comfortable to hold so let's see how it writes so what we have is a a wyvern baby fountain pen as I said I do not know too much about it so I'm dating it from 1920s 1930s it's in this black chased hard rubber and it's actually writing <laughs> there we go it's not writing uh, like my writing where I can't even count so there we go now let's see if we've got a little bit of flexibility in the nib and the answer is I would say yes there's a little bit of flexibility in the nib and if we do the figure of eights like so you can see on the downward stroke we're getting a broader line than the cross stroke so oops a daisy I'm a little bit close this morning as you can see it's a lovely writer it's got a flexi nib which has given us a lovely variation in writing I would say it's writing I don't know maybe a, a fine medium line to a broad to a broad line so there we have it so there's the pen posted so what we need to do now is take the cap off the back pop it back onto the pen like so so I'm going to keep it nice and short so there we have it a wyvern baby fountain pen in this lovely black hard rubber with this lovely chase pattern it's a lever filled fountain pen now I do know there's people out there that collect specifically collect small pens so what we're going to do we're going to try and find this one a new home so if you're a collector of uh, small diddy or mini pens you may be interested in this particular pen but let's keep it at that i hope you've enjoyed looking at this small baby pen as much as i enjoy showing you people leave a comment d down below and maybe yeah if you've got any more information about this specific model let's share it with all uh, all our pen pen friends out there so if there's any information you have you can leave it below and that'd be appreciated but for now i'm just gonna say bye bye now